It's a big break from the interiors most of the car companies do. The way the, the dashboard, for instance, is uh, very slim, um, is cut in slices, the way the, the, the events are designed graphically even, the way the materials are applied to that with the stitchings on the, on the fabrics, um, it makes it special, it makes it stand out in the middle of the crowd in its own way. Modern is being right in your own time, postmodern is being, you know, after, one, one step ahead. The new generation of Espace is clearly high-end, as the uh, previous generation used to be. So I will just give you two or three examples. The first one is the sitting position and the sitting comfort. You're sitting quite high in a new generation of seats. We provided this car with uh, what we call the uh, OpenR Link, powered by Google, so the multimedia system connected which is the latest generation and which is so easy, so intuitive. The first thing that you'll see when you're entering the new SPAS is the impressive L-shaped system formed by the two central screens with 12-inch diagonal and cluster display in front of the driver with another 12.3-inch diagonal. When you're adding to this the head-up display of 9.3-inch, we are getting an impressive surface of almost 1,000 square centimeters. That is simply put the size of three tablets all together. We allied with the best and our engineers here in Renault integrated all that for a perfect, easy to use handling experience for our customers. Behind the screens, we have the automotive version of the Android software, the always up-to-date Google Maps, the Google Assistant, and also the Play Store. Specifically for the launch of new SPAS, we partner with an industry leader, Gameloft, to develop SongPop for Renault. A first experience, shared experience, involving all the passengers in a car in a trivia, music, shared game that all the passengers can play on the long trips. We are the first to bring ways on board of our vehicles. We are offering access to the Vivaldi browser, Sybil, radio player, Amazon web music. Modularity is still important. When you buy such a car, it's because you need space at some point. Whether you need space for your passengers, whether you need space for your luggage, it's important that you've got a car which is quite flexible. You want the car to be elastic somehow, yeah? To adapt to whatever you need at the moment. So as much as we can, we are trying to, to, to deliver this. The Espace has got a very intelligent modularity. You've got a second row on which the bench can slide, or each passenger can slide over more than 20 centimeters, offering more space for the third row or for the trunk. You've got the ability also to move one or two seats in the third row very easily, just uh, with one hand. So uh, I think it describes quite well the kind of modularity we wanted to offer. If you look at uh, uh, the center console and the, the, its ability to transform, actually, the way we designed it, the moving handrest, the access to different kind of storages, some dedicated to very specific functions, some very generic, uh, very flexible. Um, so all over the car, there's a lot of very um, clever, I believe, solutions. You have always had on Espace, some kind of sunroofs. You had two sunroofs in the first generation. You had huge panoramic sunroofs in the, in the second and third generation. So it becomes quite natural to have something special in the sunroof of this Espace generation. But design for us, the, the, the panoramic roof was not a uh, difficult task. It's really an, an easy uh, thing to, to do and it's more at engineering. It's quite a a big piece of glass without any structure underneath, so it was very challenging for engineering, much less for us. Uh, all generations of Espace have put a lot of focus on the light. On the first generations, the side windows of uh, Espace were very wide, 
On this new generation of ESPAS, we have developed a more robust body, meaning that the side windows are more compact than on previous generations. But we have developed uh, an ultra-wide panoramic glass roof, which is the widest since the first generation of ESPAS. This panoramic glass roof uh, has a, a surface to let the light enter of more than one square meter. It's more than 1.3 meter long, so it brings some light uh, into the cabin up to the third row of seats. When we developed the uh, panoramic glass roof of New Espace, we had clear technical challenges. When you have quite a low roof vehicle and want to have a panoramic glass roof, it's really an architectural challenge. And we didn't have any room in vertical roominess to package uh, a sunshade for the panoramic glass roof. So we developed a specific technology of glass with our supplier, with a low emissivity layer on the glass of the roof, which keeps the heat outside the vehicle. So you can have the same comfort without sunshade than a normal glass roof with sunshade.